this particular project, uh, I try to create uh, an environment on the computer that allows me to uh, integrate and run several different uh, computer functions in parallel without unknown or unpredictable interference in between these uh, functions. My original passion has always been to work with my hands and mathematics is actually art and some, some people use mathematics for art. Uh, but to me it is the, it's the beaut simple beauty of logic. Technological components are often developed separately and then integrated into a larger system such as that of a car, a train or a mobile phone. They can contain maybe up to a hundred little computers. Thomas Nolte and his team are trying to develop principles for a virtual platform that can be used to guarantee the timing and predictable behavior of all those components. Most products today contain uh, embedded computers and software. And in order to stay competitive on the global market, you need to have the best possibilities to create new innovations using software. Another important aspect of this kind of embedded systems that we work with is predictability with respect to non-functional things. And this is, for example, timing. Let's think of an airbag system of a car. So the timing of the airbag is crucial in the sense that if, if the airbag would inflate with gas too early, then it would allow the airbag to start to deflate the gas before the driver of the car would hit the airbag. That would be a non-optimal situation. So only the perfect timing is, uh, is acceptable in this kind of, a, uh, of application. And that is a typical real-time system where the timing does not translate into being fast, but it translates into being predictable and perfect. Timing in predictable systems is of great interest for the Swedish industry, since it is trying to solve one of the most critical challenges of technological development today. These kinds of computer systems that we work with are central in most large uh, Swedish uh, industrial segments concerning automation, uh, vehicles, uh, telecom. You can think of companies like ABB, Volvo and Ericsson are uh, heavily involved in this kind of uh, research that I'm conducting with their software systems. What most people don't think about is that our daily life is surrounded by computers. Your alarm clock is a computer. You go into the shower, you brush your teeth, you, you shave, you go down to your car and buy the elevator, which is a computer system. And then you take the car, which is also a computer system containing hundreds of computers. All of those embedded computers, basically, they have more or less of this kind of predictability issues that must be ensured. So in order to stay competitive in this area, we need, to be, we need to be the best and we need to know how to make the best use of the technology that we have today. I believe that uh, uh, Sweden has a, a huge potential in uh, becoming uh, the world player in uh, embedded computer products.